Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while, we took a little break. Happy New Year, I'm so happy to be here and to discuss the hottest trends coming in for winter 2023. Let's not waste any time and jump right in. Before we get into all the hottest trends coming up for 2023, I'd really like to thank today's sponsor, Idol. So we talk about jewelry a lot on this channel. You guys know I love good jewelry. And if you didn't get that gift that you wanted for the holidays, now's your chance and your husband won't even be mad at you because these are affordable diamonds. These are lab created diamonds but they are real diamonds. One of the things I truly love about Idol is that you can switch this up to your personal style or your style that you're wearing that day. If you wanna be a little more elegant, you can wear classic diamond pieces. These are really, really high quality diamonds, lab created, sustainable, and ethically made. I love that these diamonds are accessible. There's price points across the board. Again, real diamonds, but not at mined diamond prices. These are all hand checked by their ateliers in Antwerp. Every piece has traceable solid 14K gold. All of the gold with each idol piece will never tarnish, never change color, and will always maintain that top quality. Things that you could have for a lifetime passed down from generation to generation. And I'll say it again, these are real diamonds. So who doesn't want to save money on a beautiful classic piece for your collection? You should definitely check out the Idol website. I'll leave everything in the description box below and they often have really good sales, beautiful pieces for great prices. And if I were you, I'd consider subscribing to their newsletter because they do surprise launches, surprise deals. And we love that. We love that for you. We love that for me. Now do yourself a favor, check out Idol and thank me later. I love you kids. All right, jumping right into the hottest winter trends for winter 2023. I got my notes ready. I know exactly what is happening. And some of these trends we've seen already and we're seeing them in a new way. The first trend I wanna talk about is the crazy denim trend. It's just like always evolving and always different. And now we're seeing it on the runway in kind of a new way. The rise of the baggy jeans and the relaxed jeans while also talking about the dip in the actual rise of the denim because we're seeing lower jeans and looser jeans, but that's like old news already. Been there, done that. But we are seeing denim on denim, actual like fashionable cuts, like high fashion cuts with the denim on denim vibe happening. And a lot of denim corsets and kind of like structural denim tops, jackets, vests, along with the matching denim bottoms. Very hot trend and also denim skirts, long skirts, baggy skirts, skirts with slits, very 90s. This just gives me childhood memories. I definitely get flashbacks every time I see them, like I've seen this before. But every time a trend comes back in fashion, it's always done a little bit differently. These are just edgier, a little more street style vibes with just like the really baggy, low cut kind of denim skirts. And denim across the board, a lot of dark denim, medium washes, kind of like a more elevated, fashionable way of wearing denim. The next trend I want to talk about is ballet core. Now I did talk about ballet shoes in my shoe trends video a little while back. I feel like it's only been a decade or maybe like 15 years max. So we did see the ballet flats back in the day. We used to read like Us Weekly and like all those trashy gossip mags. And I remember they were always talking about Demi Moore in her ballet flats. And that was like the hottest trend. She was wearing like slim cut pants with the ballet flats, it was so hot. We're seeing that, but we're seeing it a little bit differently now. Sometimes with like a cropped relaxed fit jeans or a cropped straight fit denim, even baggy jeans to the ground with the ballet flat, which I don't think is very flattering at all. So here's the thing with these trends, right? These trends might be hot, but if they don't work for your frame, your body, your height, your personal style, you definitely should not wear them. It's just not the vibe, like absolutely not. But it is just like that ballet core kind of vibe. Body suits, buns, slicked back, clean, feminine, minimal kind of makeup with that like ballet influence. Definitely picking up and getting more and more popular into 2023. Next, corsets and like rock and roll. So here's the thing, we're still seeing those corsets a lot. We're seeing them like on top of 
other pieces like a corset on top of a button down or a corset even on top of like a blazer a boxy blazer two worlds colliding just really cool really fashionable and of course just corsets on their own just like that sexy bustier look rocked in a really cool edgy modern way with like a low-rise baggy denim very y2k very young very tiktok i love this vibe but i think the reason that i describe this as like rock and roll is because we're just seeing it very edgy a lot Lot of different fabrics different cuts different patterns you know like lace metallic sexy skin bearing designs it's just like across the board as much as some of these looks are so different they all kind of fall into that same category I think it's kind of like a bit of a shift and kind of like on the heels of the fashion fetishism right because the thing is like with that whole Balenciaga scandal I think we're trying to move away from that like x-rated fetishism some like gray area fashion. It's sexy, it's rock and roll, it's grungy, it's edgy, but a little less fashion fetishism than we saw on the runway a couple seasons ago. And then number four, I'm seeing a lot less logo. When we see Fendi or Gucci or so many of the fashion houses that rely a lot on those logo pieces to sell, we're seeing less of that, especially with Gucci and Michele leaving Gucci. I think we're gonna see a lot less of that big, in-your-face, bold, enlarged GG monogram everywhere. We're just seeing beautiful and minimal kind of stuff. So this is like minimalism, but also less logo. There's no real like title to this point that I'm discussing. It's basically just like less logo. So you can call it minimalism. You can call it more fashion focused. I would not call it classic because a lot of the styles that I'm seeing are not classic, although they are stunning and very artistic. We're just seeing beautiful cuts come down the runway. A much smaller focus on logos everywhere. Number five, we did talk about cargo pants. We're seeing them in so many different ways now since the last time we talked about them, right? I talked about the Attico and now we're seeing them in satin. We're seeing like oversized cargo skirts, kind of similar to that oversized denim skirt we talked about. Like it's just all in the same family, but just this whole cargo aesthetic very hot very happening for 2023 keeping a very very strong presence on the runway different colors different fabrics different cuts slinky structured skinny slim cut super baggy like just a crazy amount of cargo pants we're seeing this year so many cargos so little time number six platforms platform heels platform boots but chunky platforms okay we're seeing it on so many of the fashion girlies the valentino boots huge huge for 2023 like i am seeing so many girls rocking these boots on instagram on tiktok these are just like such a hot boot of the season i did talk to you guys about these boots and i'm so glad i didn't buy them and actually i've heard that they're very very uncomfortable my friend owns a pair and she says that she can't take more than like five steps in these boots they're like so so uncomfortable so i'm really really glad i did not fork over two grand Canadian on these boots. They are stunning, but you're not even gonna see the whole boot because all the pants right now are baggy and relaxed, so they're just gonna cover the beautiful boot. So what is the point? You know what I mean? I just had a physical recently and my doctor said I'm five foot three, so I was so pleasantly surprised to find out I might be five foot three. Like, I'm still not totally convinced. I need like a second and third opinion, but you know, I'm not going to go back to that five foot two life just yet. You know what I mean? Like, I need confirmation. But either way, I love, love, love the chunky platform trend because. I love to be sky high. I love to wear like a bell bottom or a flare or a baggy denim with a chunky platform and I just look so tall. You can't even tell that I'm in super high heels because my pants cover them. So it's a win, you know what I mean? Number seven, let's touch on handbags really quickly. The rise of the bigger bag. We know fashion mom is stuck in Olsen twin era. So I'm so happy about this. I do love a little top handle bag. A tiny micro bag though, you're done. You're done, you're done, and you're done. And you're stupid. Never liked those stupid ass bags. Not functional, not good at all. No, no time for them. And I'm so pleasantly surprised that the bigger bags are coming back because listen, 
I carry a lot of things with me. Even like a medium sized bag sometimes for me just doesn't cut it. But I am seeing more and more of these big bags on the runways. And I'm even just seeing in day to day life people busting back out their Celine luggage totes, their Phantoms. I'm so glad I never sold my Phantom. That's like one of the bags I never sold. Like I sold my Celine luggage and I'm actually happy about it. I don't miss it at all. But most of the bags from my past, I kind of have sold and I moved into more classic style bags. But the Celine Phantom, I never sold as well as the Balenciaga giant city bag, which is from like the old era of Balenciaga before this scandal, before this whole creative team. Like we're talking like 15 years ago. Not this sketchy Balenciaga era. I love that these big bags are coming back because I've always had big bag energy. You know what I mean? Very happy about that. And I know for a fact, this is just something that will continue to gain more and more popularity, guaranteed. And last for today, let's talk about another shoe trend, but let's keep it to sneakers. We are seeing a lot of sleeker sneakers and I'm so happy about it. Really like very 80s style, 80s, 90s style, like just very like sleek. And I actually love this. You guys know I never liked the chunky sneaker that much. Like I like a chunky sneaker when it's not like in the form of a dad shoe. I don't mind like a platform on a sneaker. That's different, that's cool. But like a chunky dad vibe, like ew, absolutely not. But I am so happy to see these sleeker shoes, even like New Balance, which is like such a trend that we're seeing. It's not like a fashion shoe, but it has become a fashion shoe because all the fashion girlies are rocking the New Balance. I mean like, I don't think there's a singular girl in New York who's not rocking a New Balance shoe right now. Like it's just so popular. It's on the streets everywhere because it's fashion meets function, you know? And we're seeing so many of these sleek pairs. Now there's a lot of New Balance shoes that I think are really not cute that a lot of the girlies love. And that's why, like I always say, you gotta wear what you want. So many things that are in trend, I'm just, I don't vibe with, right? But I do love the sleeker sneaker Say that five times. Something that's cute, it's not gonna be big and chunky on your feet and not an eyesore, you know what I mean? Especially with the New Balance that I'm showing you, the 327s, I love that they come in nude, light gray and black, like I just love that vibe. Like just neutrals, clean, cute, functional. Like I don't usually go for a super expensive luxury running shoe unless it's giving me like more fashion, you know, but for an actual comfortable walking shoe, I'd go for New Balance over like Chanel. You know what I mean? Like it's just, I've never done the Chanel running shoe and never have they made a shoe that appealed to me in the running space. You know what I mean? Can you imagine like doing a um, circuit training class in like a Chanel sneaker? Like what is the point in a Chanel sneaker? It's really not giving besides logo. That's what it's giving. Anyways, guys, that wraps up my list for some of the hottest trends coming in for 2023. I love doing these videos for you. Let me know if I missed anything because you guys always give me like really good reminders in the comments. So I'd love to know if there are any hot trends that you're rocking that I didn't mention. I love hearing from you and I love being here with you. I will be back very soon with another really fabulous video. So I really hope you enjoyed and until next time, bye for now.